Apocalypse Road delves into Mad Max territory, depicting a race between cars souped up with guns, rocket launchers, and armor. After playing this a bunch, I'm going to give you five things that I like about this game and the one thing that I don't here today on Legendary Tactics. In the name of full disclosure, I did receive a free copy of this game for review, but I'll try not to let that bias my comments here. I had not played any of the precursors to Apocalypse Road, uh, Thunder Alley or Grand Prix before, although I've, I've heard great things about both those games. The first thing that I like about Apocalypse Road is the theme. I, I'd been intrigued by Thunder Alley in the past, as there are not a lot of car race games out there, but the idea of a post-apocalyptic road race where players can shoot and bash and blow up each other's cars is pretty irresistible to the 12 year old in me. The artwork is on the boards is really well done and is very well, good for evoking that theme as well with a surprising amount of detail in the illustrations. The second thing I like about this game is the feel. I had a bit of a, an idea of how the movement worked and I was admittedly unsure as to how intuitive it would be to play, especially with my young son. But after a few rounds it becomes not only intuitive but strategic. And most importantly, it feels like a race. Even though there are a lot of elements that seem unrealistic upon further consideration, once the game begins, players are sucked in because it generates the same rush as a car race. The third thing I like about Apocalypse Road is the narrative. A lot of games will leave a story or two with the players that can be discussed and dissected afterward. The movement event cards are also extremely useful in this regard, adding some random elements that spice up the race in unexpected moments. I also like how they make the use of the rough and the jump sections, more, making them more dangerous without cluttering up the, the game with more rules. And all of this contributes to not make, turning this game not only into a race, but an adventure. The fourth thing I like about this game is the chrome. I like that each track has a rough stretch. I like the part of the track called the jump. I think the trough is interesting, although it could be potentially more impactful than it is. And the one map has a crossover that makes the decisions more interesting. I like how each car has its own characteristics and its own weapon type. I was concerned that it was going to be a lot of effort to cross-reference these things, but it turned out to be not that bad at all, especially as the gun type is also depicted on the counter for sharp-eyed players to use as a shortcut. And the fifth thing I like about Apocalypse Road is that it's fun. It's the type of game that you can get into where the thrills and spills really come through to give the game a good amount of drama and excitement. The shooting, which, let's face it, is one of the highlights of the game, is actually handled quite simply. Arguably, ramming seems to be a little bit overpowered, but it's all part of the fun. The game doesn't take itself too seriously, and you shouldn't either. There are some tactics that you can try to implement, but I wouldn't look too hard for deep strategy. The game is designed to be fast fun and quite a bit of furious. But now to the one thing that I don't like about Apocalypse Road. Your mileage may vary with this point, but I find the game to be a little bit long for what it is. Having played it at 2, 3, and 4 player counts, I can't imagine playing it at 10. It would be chaotic fun, but I would imagine that the downtime between turns would be a, lot, a bit of a problem depending on the group you're playing with. It's not unusual for 2 or 3 player games to take between 60 and 90 minutes, which, while it is admittedly a lot of fun, I just worry it would overstay its welcome at a certain point, especially if you are... Uh, an unlucky faction that's been beaten up pretty badly and stand little chance of winning the race. But other than that, Apocalypse Road is a great game. It is one of the few games that my young son requests to play, even though winning the game for him is secondary to blowing up uh, his dad's team of vehicles. And ultimately, games are about having fun, and Apocalypse Road should help you do just that. Drive safe. This is Legendary Tactics.